A rocket fired from Lebanon struck a vehicle repair shop in the northern Israeli town of Kiryat Shmona on Friday, heavily damaging the building, equipment and cars near the site. No injuries were reported by authorities. Israeli military said that the militant group Hezbollah fired at least 22 rockets from Lebanon. Israel launched a ground incursion into Lebanon on Tuesday and its forces have been clashing with Hezbollah militants in a narrow strip along the border. A series of attacks before the incursion killed some of the group's key members, including longtime leader Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah and Israel have traded near-daily strikes since the Israel-Hamas war started after the Gaza-based Palestinian militant group stormed into Israel almost a year ago on October 7, sparking fears of regional war. Satellite images of an aircraft hangar at a key Israeli military air base taken after a massive barrage of Iranian missiles appear to show a large hole in the roof. Images of the Nevedim air base in southern Israel on Wednesday show the damage to the roof in a row of buildings near the main runway. Large pieces of debris can be seen spread around the building. It was not clear what caused the damage. Israel's military did not immediately respond to a request for comment about the satellite images. Nevedim is home to the Israeli Air Force's most advanced aircraft, including US-produced F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jets. It is not clear from the satellite imagery whether any aircraft were in the hangar when it was struck. Nevedim also sustained light damage during an Iranian missile and drone attack in April. A series of massive blasts rocked Beirut's southern suburbs late Thursday night and into Friday morning, shaking buildings kilometers away in the capital. Lebanon state-run National News Agency reported more than 10 consecutive airstrikes in the area. It was not immediately clear what was targeted or if there were casualties. The strikes came amid an ongoing escalation in the year-long conflict between Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah.